your mom died, right? Mm, this video is gonna be a little bit different. You guys are gonna be seeing me do my makeup while I talk about the first three episodes um, that I watched on my own. And then I decided to make a video on it afterwards. And then I will be going into full commentaries on the rest of the season. So from episode four, to 10 we'll be watching together and then the first three episodes i watched on my own and i'll be talking about that while i do my makeup so we're gonna do the makeup portion and then we're going to be getting right into the commentary so i hope you guys like this i know it's different but without further ado let's get started today's video is sponsored by raycon you guys have probably heard of me talk about raycon before but if you don't know what raycon is raycon makes wireless earbuds they are just as good as any other top audio brands on the market right now for about like half the price so you can get premium sound quality for a more affordable price these are the everyday e25s and they have great sound they have great bass they have a noise isolating fit and they have no dangling stems or wires so you can have the great sound quality and it looks nice as well not to mention raycon also comes in a wide variety of colors and patterns so i have the white ones and i have the black ones and i use them all the time i use them all the time i use them when i'm filming obviously you guys have probably seen many many commentaries while i'm using my raycons i also use them when i'm working out raycons have six hours of playtime on a single charge so you don't have to worry about your earbuds dying on you in the middle of something so i wouldn't want my dying while I'm working out or dying when I'm filming and I'm going through a really long film session that's really important to me to have earbuds that last long times on a single charge because I need them when I'm filming and sometimes film sessions come up to six hours the company was co-founded by Ray J and celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Trin Lovell wear Raycons and support them as well. And if you have an issue with earbuds fitting you properly, Raycon actually comes with little sizing caps so you guys can try on which ones work best for you. Um, I think I chose the size maybe like i know it came with a size and i think i went a size below or above i think i went a size above because my ear hole was a little bit too big for the one that it came with by default so i really like that because if you get earbuds and then they just keep falling out of your ear because they don't fit it's kind of like what do i do what, do I, what am i supposed to do with this raycon also has a 45 day free return policy so you guys can try them out test them out and see if they are the perfect fit for you you guys can click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com trin to get 15 percent off your raycon order thank you raycon for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the video when i'm using my raycons so i'm going to be talking about the first four episodes of a cruel summer while I do my makeup because I watched them last night and I don't want to refilm a commentary to them. So after I do makeup, I'm gonna watch the last six episodes. The one thing I do have to say about what after watching those episodes, confusing as fuck. I do like the concept of doing the same day of three different years in one episode, but oh my god i did not realize what year was what until the fourth episode i have to talk about the cast because everyone's gonna be on my ass with the cast first of all we got our lovely april from Grey's anatomy i've never seen her in any other work other than glee and then i've seen her in Grey's anatomy and then i've never seen her in anything else that's the Grey's anatomy curse you've only seen people in Grey's anatomy in Grey's anatomy also we have olivia hull and she was she was disney girl but she was everything I really like Olivia Holt in this. I think this is probably like, she is just eating up all the rest of the cast. I have to say, she is really eating up the rest of the cast. Like every single scene with her in it, I'm like, okay, work, okay, work. If you know the guy's name, I can't remember his name. The main guy, the love interest, the, the boyfriend. He, I think his name is Froy. And I remember him on Twitter before he was like cast in anything. Everyone fan casted him as like everybody. So when I saw him, I was like, oh my God. He was also in Teen Wolf, which I remember him in Teen Wolf and he was not serving in Teen Wolf. I would tell you that he was not giving his best performances in Teen Wolf. He's kind of serving in this. He's kind of serving. I don't really like the boyfriend. I think he's kind of ass. And why I say that is because are we really seeing this guy as like the best boyfriend ever? He literally moved on after Kate had gone missing. These are, this only takes place within three years of time. And in the second year, he already had moved on to have a full blown relationship, I love you relationship with 
genie. We should not be supporting him because he's weird. He's a stupid boy. We're at this point in episode four where I don't really know if she did do it. They haven't confirmed whether she did see Kate or not and then didn't report it. I believe that she did it, but she is just so infuriating. So even if she didn't do it, I am like, you have to go because you are so annoying. She's being so like her whole case in this. Okay, say in the, the most recent year, so the third year that they're documenting, her whole thing is that she needs to be likable for the jury to believe her and for the press to be on her side. Because right now it's a he said, she said, or she said, she, she said, she said, no one really knows what's going on. We have the necklace, which I don't, I'm, she was very suspicious in the interrogation room. Jeanette talking to her lawyer and she's just being an ultimate bitch, this lawyer. Like if I was this lawyer, I would be like, you have to pay me extra because this bitch is so fucking rude. It's like, I don't even, it's like how to get away with murder. Like I don't even want to help her get away with murder because she's a bitch. I think it's in like episode two or episode one or, I can't remember when it was, but she's talking to Laura and Laura's like, we need you to be more likable to the press and we need you to have a likable image for the jury because that's how you, you know, a jury is a big part of a trial. And if the jury doesn't like you, you can instantly turn off the jury within the first minute of giving your case. And so the fact that she's like talking to this lawyer and she's like, Oh, so you just want me to be more likable like her? It's like, exactly, yes. Her line was, oh, so I will make an effort to be more like how you want me to be. And Laura's like, thank you. And it's like, yeah, it's not about changing your whole fucking life. It's about winning the fucking case. Do you think everybody that's innocent is just oh so nice and do you think everyone that's guilty is just a fucking troll in the courtroom no right now i'm definitely on kate's side um probably only kate's side i don't really like anyone else perhaps i like vincent but vincent is a little flip-flop between Jeanette and Mallory he like at one time he's like really on valerie's side and then the other time he's really on Jeanette's side and I'm like you're a little flip-flop I thought they were gonna make his character gay for some reason I don't know what that would do for the plot but whenever he got into that car with that guy I don't know what his name is I thought it was Ben I thought he was going to be going on a little gay rendezvous but he's not um as of right now <laughs> um I don't really like Mallory either I know like she hasn't really done anything and at points I'm like okay work like I agree with her when she hates on Jeanette but other than that her character is kind of bland she's not serving as much as i want her to um and i keep getting her confused with the other blonde girl and like the popular grip getting them confused so i get a lot of the characters confused all the white boys i get confused with i'm like honestly on kate's side even if she's lying dude even if she's full-on lying about Jeanette seeing her i'd be fucking pissed when she's talking to um the boy i totally forget his name what the fuck is his name um and she's like it really feels like i'm replaceable because she replaced me and i'm like dude i was about to cry in that scene because i thought I feel such sadness that everyone was moving on and all of her friends found this person that was like a placeholder for her and it just felt really weird and that was like one of the best scenes i have to say that was like one of the best scenes i loved i i love olivia holt i think she did an amazing job in that scene um, and I loved it that they included it. It added a really, almost rawness to the show, even though I know it's not raw. I did my makeup and I look funky. Um, I lied, I am not on episode four. I'm actually on episode three and I actually have 15 minutes left, so I'm a liar. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so I was right, they are gay. It's a gay club? Dude, I fucking knew it. In the beginning, I said, it literally took two seconds ago, I said, are they gay? I fucking knew it. There are a couple cute patooties. Okay, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. Happy Pride Month. I feel like anything I say is gonna sound like a bad line from a teen movie. I hate it when people do that. I hate it when people write that shit into teen shows or teen movies. It's like, you are in a bad teen show. Don't making yourself self-aware that you're in a teen show does not make the line any better 
That scared me. Definitely did scare me. What a transition. What a transition. I'll tell you that. That was a gr wonderful, grand transition, but goddamn, spooked me. Who's that? Oh, it's her. What is she doing? She just seems like a dumb, dumb girl in this dumb, dumb world. Why are these fireworks so bright? They are lighting up entire houses. How are they that bright? I'm still pissed. Why'd she say it like that? I'm still pissed. Um... Pizza rolls? Yeah. <laughs> Our voice changed so much. Pizza rolls? Yeah. Yeah. She just wasn't talking like that a second ago. Oh, she pisses me off. She makes me wanna like, I get why someone punched her in the face because she is pissing me off. Just smoke it. Just smoke weed, drink, and fucking, I don't know, have sex. Don't, don't sneak into people's houses. I mean, it's hilarious. This is a very dark room. Why is everything so dark? It's bullshit is what it is. Okay, so they're besties now. That's why they have the same hair. I hate the coloring. It is so unbelievably upsetting that they put these, the darkest filter on the present time. The most recent time they put the darkest filter on and it is so unpleasing to the eye that it makes it so difficult to watch. It's super dark so visually I can't see everything and it's just weirdly too on the nose. I'd be able to tell that they were in the present time and that everything was shit and everything was sad without the overwhelmingly dark unsaturated blue filter that they put on. It's no twilight teal, so get the fuck out. I was just in seeing Sylvia as a formality, in case you were wondering. I'm, I, I'm also here to see Sylvia, so. Therapy twins. I would feel so, I'd be so embarrassed if I had the same therapist as someone else that I knew. What happened to you heavy? More uh, run of the mill verbal abuse heavy? Uh, not that it's a trauma competition. Ah, okay. Um, are they gonna get together? I know this is like, they're like saying that they became friends because of this, but are they gonna get together? My meat loving, gunslinging little girl is suddenly eating granola and burning incense. Wow, you really are just somehow worse than you even seem. You know, you're not a very nice young lady. And you're not a very nice old one. I have, I hate to say this, I really do. I don't mean this as the biggest insult to Mallory. I don't really like her that much. She's giving off Gabby Hanna vibe. Yeah. And I don't know what you want to do with that information. I don't know what I'm going to do with that information now that I've associated her with that. She's giving Gabby Hanna vibes and I don't know why and I don't like it. My dad, he committed suicide. I don't normally talk about it, but um. I don't normally talk about it, but I'm going to talk to this 15 year old girl about it. <sighs> yeah, you fucking suck. Stupid bitch. Dude, I hate, I fucking hate the production like choices they choose for these flashback scenes. I think they are really bad. I think the cinematography they use for those scenes are so goddamn bad. And like the effects with the light leaks and all that kind of stuff, like it's not, it's really not good. And it, it seems like a bad like law and order. That they were all responsible for what happened to her. She's literally roasting a marshmallow right now. <laughs> she's literally roasting a marshmallow. She's like, she's flipping it over. She's making sure it's toasted on both sides as she's telling this story. Trauma Rama 79. I love that. <laughs> I love it. I love that. That's a really good username, Kate. The only difference is that Jeanette has curly hair, glasses, and braces. Exactly. When she gets her braces off, she looks the fucking same. I hate the coloring change. It's so ugly. I don't like it that it goes darker as the years progress because I guess in the rules of cinema, it doesn't really go well with kind of the narrative we're used to, which is past will be darker, present will be a brighter color, whether it is actually going along with the plot line or not. It's trying to match the coloring too much to the events, and this is just too drastic. It's way too drastic. Jeanette Turner is a psycho. 
I don't associate with people like that. <laughs> you only associate when you're macking on them. <laughs> no, I've been working up the courage to ask you about it. Is this a therapy talk? <laughs> Is this a therapy talking? Trying to trying to be mean to me with it? That I should that I should say grounded in reality. Yeah, reality, not made up stories, Kate. Dude, he's gaslighting her. She literally hey, saw it with hey, her own Kate. eyes, and he's Kate. like. They're just living in this made-up world. Is that the therapy? Is that the therapy talking? That I did something fucked up. That I kissed Jeanette. Is that the therapy talking? He's insane. Maybe he should be with Jeanette because he's crazy. Happy I made a friend this summer. Why is Mallory gagging like that? She doesn't. She has two friends. <laughs> she has two friends. She's acting like she's so popular and that she wouldn't love to be with him. I'm sure you. Hey. Kate. Hey. Hey, step up, <laughs> he looked hey, super alone. He looked insane running up. <laughs> he looked insane running up to tell the paparazzi to leave. Don't you think it's possible that you didn't see what you think you saw? Oh my god. Why was he so hell bent on sticking to that story? He could have just said, I got wrapped up in my emotions and then we started kissing. Would have been a lot better if he just admitted to it. So what happens when someone dies on a commercial air flight? Okay, Grey's Anatomy reference. <laughs> I didn't know you then. Well, you know me now. Ew, this is gross. If this was Pretty Little Liars, this would not have been turned into the reality of it. It would have turned into them getting married at the end of the season. For I don't want to hear Jeanette sing. It's going to make me hate her even more. So I, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like seeing her happy. It makes me upset. You look awfully young to be an assistant principal. Freeform has got to stop. <laughs> Freeform has got to stop doing this because they keep pairing up literal children with all the teachers. Can you stop? Can you stop? I'm not sitting here missing my mommy if that's what you think. But it, it'd be fine if you were, girl. <laughs> like, she, literally no one says anything and she's like, she's like, I'm not having emotions and missing people like a pathetic little bitch. It's like, girl, literally, literally no one said that. Literally no one's accusing you of anything. We're, no one's yelling at you if you're having an emotion everyone's begging you people are literally begging you to have an emotion and you're reluctant to give them that shut the fuck up i'm case dead i'm mallory hardly anyone knows who i am and i love snacks she is so upsetting to me and i don't know why mallory is making me very upset just her personality is just like it's bugging me the wrong way deep breaths in and out try to breathe through I want to stop. Her therapist sees her in very much distress and all she has to say is deep breaths in and out. There's a lot more a therapist can say to you rather than that. I'm so sorry. But if your therapist sees you in that much distress, they wouldn't just tell you deep breaths in and out. They're like professionals, so they would say a lot more than that. Um, I hate the way they portray therapists in TV shows. Uh, Amy, what are you doing? He's giving her a promise no. ring in a fucking Relax. food court. After my last two birthdays, I'd pretty much given up on never having a good one ever again. If they don't get together at the end of the season, then what is the point? They are literally lovers. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> I knew they were going to hold hands. I knew they were going to hold hands and I knew they were going to have a moment. <laughs> um, okay. I'm, I'm sensing it. I'm sensing it. I'm sensing gay. What? I'm as shocked as you are. I mean, she's lying for attention, clearly. Everyone is gaslighting this poor little girl. Death to all of them. Oh. Let alone getting kidnapped, the gaslighting alone in this to her is like enough to traumatize someone forever. Because everyone is making her seem like she is delusional every single moment they get. Trauma Rama 79. Will Martin Harris ever just say dead and go away? <laughs> yes, I can read. Run away. Go to Renee's or to Neil's until you come crawling back with your tail between your legs. She's like, Joke's on you. I'm going to go get kidnapped. And then you'll feel real bad. 
not in the plan, but got you to apologize. Come inside. I don't know why this motherfucker, this motherfucker has a big ass house and is literally by himself. Look how big that house is. That's so many, that's so many rooms for what? For literally what? Get a little studio apartment. You are wasting money on this mortgage. I don't like him. He's upsetting to me. And to the roller rink as if we'd ever just run into Kate Wallace. It's a very small town. We literally have run into Kate Wallace like three times. What do you mean? What are you looking at, creep? That girl is not a good actress. What are you looking at, creep? Slip out. We'll be a few minutes later. Snow sweat. This is really time consuming. Do you have somewhere better to be? No. I didn't think so. Why is Mallory so rude about all this stuff? She is more rude about Jeanette not completing this summer bucket list than she is about Jeanette literally being accused of not reporting someone missing. I'm just saying. She's so mean about this list. Your mom died, right? Mm, that, was an, that was an interesting opener. Do you remember the last thing you said to her? I asked her to pick up some string cheese on the way home. What is the relevance of this? I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it seems not too relevant for the story we're trying to be invested in. Where is this connecting? Because I feel like in this type of show, individual plot lines aren't that necessarily important for side characters because we're so invested into the murder mystery and what people's involvement is to the crime that's going on. So unless this has a correlation to the mystery we're trying to figure out, then I don't think it's that relevant. Because we have the backstory with Vincent being Jeanette's friend, but what is this? I mean, I love it. I'm not gonna say that it's bad. I think it's cute, but I also think it's something that they do in every single, every single gay adaptation on fucking Freeform, on specifically Freeform. Every single gay couple they do, they do a fucking pinky thing. I think it's cute. I'm not gonna lie, but I've seen it. I'm just like, Freeform, can you make another scene that shows gay characters without it just being a little pinky touch? Because I'm over it. I'm over it, really. I got caught up in this macho protective thing and it was dumb. <laughs> I still can't believe he punched her in the face. Like, the minute. He was the first one. So, he just socked her in the so face. So sorry. I didn't have a reason not to believe her. Over me? You knew me. You knew me. He also knew her. Like, he w she was his girlfriend for a while. He gave her a promise ring. He was like, I want to build a marriage with you. I'm not saying he has to stick to that, but I'm saying she's like, you knew me. She, like, really wasn't friends with you. Oh, you want to be a high school dropout? Maybe. Who are you? How could you even ask me that? She is so, I don't even care if she's innocent. She's fucking annoying. She's so unlikable. She just is mean to everyone. And I don't like her at all. I don't like her at all. Do you know where my daughter is? He's like, why would you ask me that? And she goes, cause you're the assistant principal. He goes, oh yeah, right, I am. But why would I know where she is? Um, because you take attendance of all the ki kids that are in school today. And he goes, I don't know where she is. Maybe she's in class. I don't know. And she goes, you're acting really suspicious. And he goes, yeah, I'm a... And then she goes, Mr. Harris caught me. I got detention. Well, Mr. Rod came around and I had to scram. And what's your excuse? Um, I was obsessed with Kate Wallace and I followed her mom and her mom was mean to me, but that's besides the point. So what, you don't want to be friends with me and Vince anymore? No, I don't want to be friends with you anymore, queen. I didn't say anything about Vincent. Whoa, that's a burn. To be fair, you did blow up on her about getting like detention. And it wasn't because, it was because the principal is like kind of a creep. Kind of a creep. Are you okay? I don't know. That's where it comes into play. Okay, we're all connected. I'm I'm coming with you. Gay? No, I don't think you should. 
So that's where it all connects. Ben got injured because Jamie was trying to go to him and then Ben and Vincent connect. I get it. I get it. I get it. Now we're seeing the relevance. Now we're seeing the relevance as to why he would. Uh, yeah, yeah. She wasn't at school today. She's not at home either. What? Yeah. Why the fuck is she so excited about it? I know that they always like uh, suspect the boyfriends first and like TV and stuff. So I don't know. I thought I should just warn you. She is insane. Why is she so happy about it? She she was so excited to tell him. She's so ex she was so excited to tell her friends too. Kate Wallace is missing. You are a, you are insane. She's insane. I'll go home. I'll tell them. Tell them what? That you've been here almost 24 hours and I lied to your mother about it? I don't know. I told you I'm not a good liar. I need your help. It's only been 24 hours. Just because they've declared it a missing person's case doesn't mean that if you show up, that you're gonna, like, they're gonna investigate every single person. Like, I ran away. I've known people that have literally been declared missing and sometimes they're just running away. Okay, well, what about a deck of cards? Uh, maybe somewhere. She's literally declared missing and you're like, let's play a game. You're very convincing, you know. Well, I am debate team captain after all. She is upsetting me now. Girl, just go home. Dodger! <laughs> Ew! Ew! So on a month in, she was living her life. A month in, she was living it up. Oh, we could learn French. Or we could always do Bora Bora. Sand beaches. You in a bikini every day. Ew! This is gonna make me cry. It's so gross. <laughs> Ew! What about Morocco? I'm sitting here watching this. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Kate, I know you. What's wrong? I just didn't expect apples in the stuffing. My mama doesn't make it that way. We can make our own stuffing. A special recipe we both like. This fucking stuffing sucks. She's like, it's it was the stuffing when I realized everything was wrong. <laughs> Note to self, if your daughter is missing, do not laugh. Oh. Like, why does he just remind me of Bob Saget? And I don't, like, that's not a compliment. Like, I'm really scared of Bob Saget. I don't think he's, like, innocent. I didn't like that. I did not like that at all. That was rude. That was scary. You get to go to the store, you get to see people, and I'm stuck in here. I'm suffocating. Oh, being with me is suffocating? No. no why is no, everyone gaslighting her at every moment they get? Every single moment they get, they gaslight her. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. She is literally, everyone is, no one is here for her. No one is here for her at all. Like I'm your dad? No. Sounds a lot like you're my kidnapper. Ooh. Please don't say that. I'll say it again. Kidnapper, kidnapper, crazy kidnapper, bitch. I'll say it again. He's like, you call me a kidnapper, I'll become a kidnapper. I'll become whatever you say I am. Don't you, don't you, don't you fret, babe. But I do. Whose side are you on, guys? Are you on Kate's or Jeanette's? I'm always on Kate. I think like everyone's just like against her and all of this. And I'm just like, girl. Martin Harris offered me a ride home. I got in the car, drank the drug soda he gave me, passed out and woke up in his basement. Oh my God, she really lied. <laughs> oh my God, she really lied. <laughs> I am, that is a big lie, baby. That is a big fatty lie, girl. How <laughs> that was shady. Could you please state those screen names? Verena Key 4 and Trauma Rama 79. That is embarrassing. She has to read off her own screen name, which is Trauma Rama 79. That is your screen name. Correct. Gasp. She made some big fat lies though. Good for her. Ooh, that is drama. It's not it's not trauma rama anymore. It's drama rama. Drama rama. 
exhibit four that's what i'll call it now she's like exhibit drama rama why now taking 11 million dollars from my family won't hurt me but it will completely bankrupt my parents i think there's gonna be another twist like i don't think what we last saw was actually what we're going with there must be something else because i don't think the last time where jeanette went into the house was the actual thing she's referencing the bike with the boom box come on that's not me that's not my bike in the car that's not my bike oh my god y'all i knew it. i fucking called it with it was mallory's from the snow globe oh my god my lover my lesbian lover <gasps> she must i am gasping for air girls literally i cannot believe i called that already i'm a genius i'm a genius I'm a genius. I knew Mallory was a weirdo because she was so weird in this first year. I slept over that first night. That night led to more nights. Katie's still my girl. I'm not, I'm, you, you, if you're trying to get me to talk bad about her, I'm not going to talk bad about her. She's my girl. She's my number one. I'm not turning on her. We'll never. Team Katie. Um, dude, I hope she shoots him. Oh my god! That scared me. You are not the one in power Listen anymore. To me, okay? You do not get to control her anymore. I was wrong. No. I get to live my life and you. and you get to rot in hell. Stupid bitch. We'll find a way. No. Just die already. Just die. Just Done die. Just die. Just die. Already. Like I'm st Stop. I'm over it. Like honestly, I'm so over it. Get it, girly. You don't want to do this. I think I do. Good for her. Good for her. Who could have cleared all this up sooner, but didn't. Kate Wallace. I forgive you. She still kind of creeps me out. Jeanette still kind of makes me upset. What is going to happen? Because this seems like weird. Is this really what we're ending with? This is really what we're giving. Also, they're by the Dallas ball thingy. That's fun. But also, I don't like Mallory still, even though Kate forgave her. I'm still team Kate, and I think Kate should get a better girlfriend than her. Okay? That's what I said. Martin? Is someone there? Dude, I fucking knew it. There was something else to this. I knew it. Yo, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew there was another part that we weren't seeing. Martin, block me down here. Please help me. I wish I Dude. Please help me out. I knew she was fucking insane. I fucking knew it. Dude. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Both at every single person in this show can go to hell except for Kate. I always team Kate. Never forget it. Never forget it. I'm always team Kate. Kate's my girl. I'm so glad I stuck to my guns throughout this entire thing and stayed team Kate. Even when Jeanette was all, mm, I forgive you. Mm, mm, I fucking stuck to my guns and I said team Kate the entire time. Because I knew. I fucking knew it. And I knew that it wasn't just Mallory because it seemed like too good of an excuse. I still don't really like Mallory as well, but whatever, their girlfriends will deal with it. Oh my God. I can't believe I knew it the entire time. I was never team Jeanette. Never, never liked her. I never liked her. I never enjoyed her company. I just found her annoying. And I stick by that. And I'm so glad I did because I was never wrong. Team Kate all the way. Even when, even when the, even, even when the show tried to misdirect me a million times, it literally tries to misdirect you eight million times. Even when they were doing that. And I was like, if she's a liar, who cares? I'm still team Kate because I love her. She's my girl. She's my tried and true. Love her to death. Love her, love her, love her. Mallory um, is kind of a weirdo. I'm going to be honest, um, not because she's gay. I don't know why anyone would assume that I was calling her a weirdo because she was gay, but because of the way she acted in the first year, 1993, 
um she was just very odd and she did see kate in the house i fucking knew that motherfucking bitch Jeanette was lying the entire time. I knew it. I knew it. And that is because I'm a smart and I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Honestly, I would probably give this show. Um, like, honestly, like it was kind of bad, but kind of good. And I did not like the middle because it was like a really big dull within like from episode four to episode like eight. There was like a big like lull without in it. Like it was like kind of like boring. So probably like if I was rating this on Letterbox, I would probably give it like a three, three and a half. I think the basic concept of it is actually really interesting. I think it's like a really cool story. I love female stalker movies. Um, Olivia Holt carried. Olivia Holt carried this. She literally carried this. Like there was no one else carrying the scenes like Olivia was. She was carrying this show on her shoulders no one could do it like her no one could do it like her i'm so sorry everyone else in her scenes like no one's touching that no one's touching her she carried she carried all i have to say is that i saw amanda's video title and it said once a weirdo always weirdo completely agree with that literally once a weirdo always a weirdo i'm so excited to watch amanda's video on it because i want to see what she thinks literally everyone in this whole entire fucking show just lies to kate and then they go you're crazy you're crazy they literally lie to her straight up lie to her and then when she confronts them they just gaslight her and they go you're crazy it's a trauma speaking it's a therapy speaking and that is why there is no good characters in this show except for kate that's it she's the only character ever but yes please please leave every single comment you can about this show in the comment section down below because this has been a hot topic show everyone's been talking about it. everyone loves it i hope they make a second season because i want to see Jeanette fucking rot i want to see her actually get hell leave your comments subscribe and follow me on my social media as my links to them will all be in the description down below turn on the notifications bell and i will see you guys next time bye